Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of benchmark fractions and percents. This is standard 6.4F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10, a new item type called Multiple Select, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to select two correct answers, right? So if I just select one, it is going to come up with a warning saying, I have not answered everything. And if I try to select three, you notice I've selected these first two. And even though I'm trying, it is impossible to select three. So they really want you to just select two answers. So we need to find these two points here. And it looks like they're represented as, I see fractions, I see percents, and I see decimals. Okay, so fractions, decimals, and percents. So what is this number line here? Well, when you see this many dots, right, and I'm thinking tenths, but let's verify. So how do we know tenths? Well, we look at the number of spaces. Count the number of spaces, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is broken up into tenths, or 10 spaces. Now each pip or each vertical line, that is going to represent the numerator, right? So these are all tenths. So the second tick mark here is going to be this second right there. So two tenths. And then I've got three, four, five, this is six tenths. Okay, so two tenths and six tenths. I don't see either of those, but that's okay we are going to represent these in different ways, all right? So, beautiful thing about tenths is take a look at place value, right? We learned, we've already learned this in fourth grade, but let's remember that when I'm dealing with place value, right, so this is going to be our ones place. This is going to be our tenths place. And if we needed it, this is our hundredths place. In fifth grade, we get to the thousandths place, but we don't, we don't need that. So I'm going to read this out loud. Two tenths. Two tenths. So 0 0.2 is the same thing as two tenths, right? Because this is the tenths place. It's just a different way of representing one as a decimal one is a fraction. So we've been working on this since fourth grade. So if I see 2 over 10, I should immediately think, okay, 0 0.2. So let's go ahead and mark that one off. That's one of them. I need to find the other one. So let's try the same thing, 6 tenths, okay? So I'm going to take my 6 tenths, and I should immediately think 0 0.6, because remember, this is 6 in the tenths spot. All right, I don't see that, so let's see if it's a percent, okay? How do we change from a decimal to percent? Well, we either multiply it by 100, or we move the decimal over twice to the right. So one, twice. There's a blank spot, so we could put zero in the blank spot. So 0 0.6 equals 6 tenths equals... 60%, because really I could make this 0 0.60 if I want to. I see a 70%, but I don't see a 60%. So it's not going to be a percent. I've already tried a decimal. I've already tried a fraction. So it seems like we're done. But take a look at this. Whenever you see a fraction, you should always ask yourself, can I simplify? Because this is 6 tenths, right? Okay. So, can I simplify? Well, if you can divide right top and bottom by 2, yeah, take a look, you get 3 fifths, okay? So, it would just be, it would be like this, right? So, here's your 6 tenths. You just took bigger chunks, right? You took 1, 2, 3 out of 5 total. So three-fifths is equal to six-tenths. So that is my second answer. And there we go.